I think many people still can't believe that Shiba Inu did what it did over such a short period of time. That massive explosion. Actually, I can't remember who it was, but someone made a comment I had talked about a while ago. This slingshot when it comes to SHIB. It's, it's like it was basically pulled back further and further and further until it was finally let go over the last few days. That's why we had this big explosion. And really what we did was we had just so much pent up energy from sitting down in this range for so long and banging our head on this four zeros, one zero level that we just exploded to the upside. Now, here's the thing. We need a moment to reload most likely. Okay. And this is not financial advice. There's no guarantees, but when we talk about larger cap cryptos, which is what SHIB is. You know, if we look at the overall crypto market, you can see that SHIB, I think right now is 16th. Yeah, SHIB right now is 16th. It's a $7.7 billion market cap. It takes more to move the needle. Yes, we exploded fast because of low levels of liquidity here and all this pent up energy. But the thing is, is SHIB with not being a low cap crypto, it now takes time to essentially reload. We have to reload all that pent up energy. We have to reload that before we can take this next stab to the upside. Now, could BTC, if it continues to pump today, like we're seeing right now, push us higher? Absolutely. SHIB could get drug up with this. Some people were complaining about SHIB coming back down. Guys, if you run 50% and you're a large cap coin, you're likely to have some sort of retracement. This isn't low cap. This isn't sub billion dollar market cap. You typically can't stack 50% days or even 30% days, one on top of the other. All right. That's very, very difficult to do. You need an insane amount of interest. And right now, with the market doing what it's doing, so many different coins pumping throughout the space, you're you're really not sucking in from anywhere else. Now, I will say this. Uh, I did actually look. I should have had it pulled up. I, I did take a look at Nensen again. We saw another big inflow day actually from Wales, $4.5 million. So Wales are actually re-entering Shiba Inu, which is nice to see. I actually saw this article and I wish I would have uh, wish I would have grabbed it, but we actually saw some Pepe whales selling that actually moved into Shiba Inu. $75 billion or $75 billion. 75 billion SHIB is actually what they accumulated. So actually, here's that article. It didn't really take much time to go through it, but they actually moved what $893,000 to Shiba Inu. So people are they're, they're kind of coming back to SHIB, which is again possibly this this reload actually taking place. We might be witnessing this right before our eyes. So we'll we'll have to wait and see, right? People hate hearing wait and see. They hate hearing patience. They want things to just happen now. Know this, guys. This is a long road that we have ahead of us. We're just getting started. We're still pre-having. You guys can see that line here. We're still before the having. We're still before alt season. We're still before mass adoption. We're before all the good times in crypto. And SHIB is making this move now. What do you think things are going to look like when we get into much better times in the market? So that's all I have to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this reload happens quickly so we can make that next stab to the upside and really try to tackle that four zeros to zero level like I was talking about. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.